What is non-adjudication of a DUI in Mississippi and how do you do that? It's basically the process of being able to keep a DUI charge off your record, keep it from being a conviction, but you have to go through probation and do some other things. So I want to talk about that. What is non-adjudication and how do you get it? Non-adjudication in the state of Mississippi has been on the books for a few years now and it's really changed the way that DUI charges are handled by the court, at least first offense DUIs. Um, you just don't see them tried as much anymore because of non-adjudication. Because in, in, in the past you had no option really except to go to trial if you wanted a chance of keeping it off your record. Now you can go through this non-adjudication process skip the trial and um, give yourself a chance to keep it off your record and have it dismissed. Uh, Non-adjudication is kind of a big word. What does that mean? Think of adjudication as being found guilty by the judge. Okay, So non-adjudication means you're not found guilty. It does require you to plead guilty. So how does that work? How, how can you not be found guilty, but you have to plead guilty. Well, it's required under the law that you, you enter a plea of guilty to the charge, but then the judge, the judge has the authority and the power to withhold your plea. You sign the paperwork and you, you tell the judge, I'm pleading guilty to this charge of my own free will, and the judge takes your plea and takes that paperwork with your signature on it and says, okay, I'm just gonna set this aside for the time being. I'm not gonna find you guilty, um, but your plea is kind of, a, kind of a, an offer to me that I wish to do this. I'm going to set your plea aside and you're going to do some things for me. Go on probation and stay out of trouble and uh, at the end of six months we'll come back here and look at this again and if you've done everything then I'll, then I'll dismiss this charge and this plea that you've signed. Uh, we'll tear that up. Uh, it'll be like it didn't happen and uh, it'll be dismissed. So that's how, that's how that works. Um, not everybody qualifies for non-adjudication, okay? It is for first-time first time offenders only. So second offense, third offense, you can't get it. Those, uh, if you want any chance of fighting it, you're going to have to go to trial. First offense only. You cannot have had a prior uh, non-adjudication for DUI. It appears that you may be eligible if you've had a non-adjudication on any other kind of offense, like a drug crime, shoplifting, something like that. You might still be eligible to non-adjudicate the DUI. Uh, but if you've had a prior DUI non-adjudication, you can't do it again. You can do it only one time, okay? Also, big one, commercial drivers. If you hold a CDL, you will not be eligible for a non-adjudication. DUI in Mississippi, first offense. Uh, those, if you're a commercial driver, you are in a whole separate category. You're gonna have to fight that. You're gonna have to go to trial. If you want any chance of saving your license, keeping your job, you're gonna have to go to trial. They don't do uh, non-adjudications for CDL holders on DUIs. All right. Now, even if you're, if you're a first offender and you're a non-commercial driver, you hold a regular driver's license, there are still some hurdles to go through. Um, there could be some aggravating factors because it is at the discretion of the court. Uh, and that's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, some examples that I've seen, if, um, if, if, if there's a gun in the car and if the officer comes to court and says you were belligerent, uncooperative. And officers really don't like it when they find guns in the cars and along with some crime going on like driving under the influence or drugs in the car. Uh, that's a big officer safety issue. So if a gun was found in the car, that, that could be a check mark against you. If, um, if there's a child in the car, if you're charged with DUI, you have a child in the car that does not look good. If there's an accident, especially if somebody was taken to the hospital, that uh, could count against you. So it's not an automatic thing that you're going to get non-adjudication on your first offense DUI in Mississippi. 
you do have to prove to the court that you are eligible, um, that, you, that you deserve this. It's a privilege and not a right. But um, you know, there, there, there could be factors. If, if there are some aggravating factors in your case, those could count against you. So we need to be aware of those and address those the right way. Uh, how long does it last? It's six months, okay? Under Mississippi law, first offense DUI carries a maximum of six months. So you're going to be looking at a six-month probationary period. You'll have to uh, attend some classes and some, uh, some math lectures, pay court costs and fines. Your license, will that be affected? It could. Depending, um, if, you have a, if you have a Mississippi license, you're probably going to have to get the interlock device installed. If you have an out-of-state license, it's going to depend on your state and their laws. Um, so you need to be aware of that and um, know that your, you know, your state could, if, if your state finds out about this, then if it's outside of the state of Mississippi, then they, you know, they're, they're going to deal with it under their laws, um, whether there's going to be a suspension period. Also, if there was a refusal, if you were administered the breath test but refused the breath test, your state could suspend your license based on that. Even if you end up not adjudicating the DUI and it stays off your record, the refusal is a, a separate proceeding. So it really depends on your state's laws. If you're a first-time offender and uh, you're facing the DUI in Mississippi, call me. Non-adjudication is a good option. Like I said, it is it has made it where trials now on, on most first offense DUIs for non-commercial drivers are almost kind of obsolete these days uh, because of the non-adjudication. I mean, you still have the right to have a trial, but weigh it. You know, think about the risk and expense of going to trial versus the potential sure thing of uh, being able to keep this off my record. I mean, it's, it's up to you. That's something you and I are going to have to talk about. I can't force you course one way or another but um, the first step is getting a good lawyer on your side so give me a call